There are a couple of things that you as a homeowner can do to make sure that your furnace continues to work properly. Most importantly, you need to check, and if they need to be changed, change your furnace filters, because a dirty filter will cause your furnace to work harder and less efficiently than it's designed. A certified technician should come out, inspect your burners, look for signs of discoloration and cracking, inspect the electrical components, look for signs that they're starting to get weak or getting close to failure, and then make recommendations as to things that you may need to replace. One thing that you can do to make sure that your home stays nice and comfortable during the winter months is to ensure that you have the proper level of humidity. Homes get very dry in the winter, which can lead to personal discomfort. So the easiest thing to do with that is you can get individual room humidifiers, which will put moisture in the air. But you can also get a whole house humidifier. So if you don't have one of these, it's worth talking to a, a heating and cooling professional about getting one installed. If you do have one, there are just a couple of things you need to make sure that you take care of so that you don't run into issues during the winter. First, you want to make sure that the drain from the humidifier is clear. The humidifiers produce a significant amount of water and if you don't have a clear drain it can lead to a water leakage issue in your basement. The second thing you need to do is make sure that the humidifier pad is changed at the beginning of the season. The way these work is the water courses down through this pad and the hot air from the furnace blows across the pad causes the water to evaporate and to go out through the rest of the house. If your pad is old and crusty, the water does not flow the way it's supposed to and you won't get the humidity performance that you're looking for. When you're taking care of your heating maintenance, you want to make sure that you change not only the filter down at the main unit, but any filters that you might have in wall or ceiling vents throughout the, ceiling vents throughout the house. In particular, if you have an attic unit, you will have filters up in the ceilings on the second floor. So take your filter out, take a good look, looks okay, you can put it back in, otherwise go ahead and replace it. I think we're in good shape for now. If of course you find that these tasks are too much or something that you don't want to deal with yourself, please don't hesitate to call Hassle Free Home Services and we'll take care of it for you.